Thank you very much. When it comes to experiencing with these women that have gone out and come back, my own experience sometimes is of uh, wonder. And so also very pathetic listening to their stories, seeing them suffering. Whenever I listen to their story, it's so touching to the heart that sometimes I always weep. And then I look at them, I say, God, please intervene in the situation. And so their situation is so pathetic that you can go a long way to try to help them to come back to recover their dignity. And that's most of the time, we try the little way we can to make sure to help them to pick up their dignity as a human being again and continue to live. So our work is there to give them hope. Our hope is there is also to make them to realize God has not finished with them. And our work there is also to make them to realize that they can pick up and become what God has made them to be. And that's to giving them hope, giving them strength to pick up from wherever it is. Because it is only themselves that will help themselves. It's not we. We are there to lead them and encourage them. We've seen uh, two major trends uh, as it relates to these young women who have returned uh, from sometimes Italy, sometimes Libya, and some of the other places that they go to. And of the two trends, on the one hand, you see young women coming back trying to spread the message that indeed this, it, you don't know what you are getting into, that this is bad, that there are dangers ahead, etc. And on the other hand, you have young women coming back and taking their experience and turning it into a kind of a perpetuation of the problem. They themselves now become lead traffickers of other women in the area. How much of each have you seen and what, do you, what has been your encounter with both of those groups? Thank you very much. First, the encounter is, as I said earlier, encouraging the first group to pick up their self. And the other one too, like we have an experience of somebody that come back, after the integration, economically it reintegrated them back into the society. Unfortunately, or fortunately, some of them become a trafficker themselves. And uh, we try to see, you see, most of them have gone through this experience for a long time, and they are traumatized, and they are then to revenge. So our own, those of them that become traffickers afterwards, we are trying to tell them, not, don't revenge. God has a plan for you. So pick up your, your whatever you are and move on. So the revenging is not a solution to the problem. And also, also help them. Some come back, some move on. All we know that we, have, we are doing our best to make them to be human beings again. 